Vayikra, Leviticus 23. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of Yahuwah, which ye shall proclaim to be holy assemblies, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Shabbat of rest, a holy assembly. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Shabbat of Yahuwah in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of Yahuwah, even holy assemblies which ye shall proclaim in their appointed times. In the fourteenth day of the first month at evening is Yahuwah's Pikach, and on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of Matzah unto Yahuwah. Seven days ye must eat matzah. In the first day ye shall have a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah seven days. In the seventh day is a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, and say unto them, When ye are come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap at the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring at a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest, and he shall wave at the sheaf before Yahuwah, to be accepted for you. On the morrow after the Shabbat, the priest shall wave it. And ye shall offer that day when ye wave at the sheaf a he-lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. And the meat offering thereof shall be two tenth deals of fine flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah for a sweet savor, and the drink offering thereof shall be of wine, the fourth part of a hin. And ye shall eat neither bread nor parched grain nor green ears until the selfsame day that ye have brought at an offering unto your Elohim, it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Shabbat, from the day that ye brought at the sheaf of the wave offering, even Shabbatat shall be complete. Rather, seven Shabbatat shall be complete. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Shabbat shall ye number fifty days, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto Yahuwah. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals. They shall be of fine flour. They shall be bacon with leaven. They are the first fruits unto Yahuwah. And ye shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year, and one young bullock, and two rams. They shall be for a burnt offering unto Yahuwah, with their meat offering and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Then ye shall sacrifice one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and two lambs of the first year 
for a sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits for a wave offering before Yahuwah with the two lambs. They shall be holy to Yahuwah for the priest. And ye shall proclaim on the selfsame day that it may be a holy assembly unto you. Ye shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when ye reap at the harvest of your land, ye shall not make clean riddance of the corners of your field when you reap. Neither shall you gather any gleaning of your harvest. You shall leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am Yahuwah Elohechem. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Shabbat, a memorial of blowing of shofars, a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seventh month is Yom Kippurim. It shall be a holy assembly unto you, and ye shall afflict at your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is Yam Kippurim to make an atonement for you before Yahuwah, Elohechem. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that does any work in that same day, the at same soul will I destroy from among his people. Ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Shabbat of rest. And ye shall afflict at your souls in the ninth day of the month at evening, from evening unto evening, shall ye celebrate your Shabbat. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the feast of Kukoth. For seven days unto Yahuwah. On the first day shall be a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. On the eighth day shall be a holy assembly unto you. And ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. These are the feasts of Yahuwah, which ye shall proclaim to be holy assemblies, to offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah, a burnt offering, and a meat offering, a sacrifice, and drink offerings, everything upon his day beside this Shabbatot of Yahuwah and beside your gifts and beside all your vows and beside all your free will offerings which ye give unto Yahuwah. Also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month when ye have gathered in at the fruit of the land Ye shall keep at a feast unto Yahuwah, 
seven days. On the first day shall be a Shabbat, and on the eighth day shall be a Shabbat. And ye shall take you on the first day the boughs of goodly trees, the boughs of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and the boughs of thick trees, and willows of the brook, and ye shall rejoice before Yahuwah Elohechem seven days. And ye shall keep it a feast unto Yahuwah seven days in the year. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. Ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in Kukot seven days. All that are Yashara'el born shall dwell in Kukot. That your generations may know that I made at the children of Yashara'el to dwell in Kukot. When I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim, I am Yahuwah Elohechem. And Moshe declared at unto the children of Yashara'el the feasts of Yahuwah.